will t be telling you a few things about cloning, such as facts, pros and cons. You know, you get the idea, hopefully. Cloning is the process of creating a copy of something. If the vital organs of the human body can be cloned, they can serve as extra parts for human beings. When a body organ, such as a kidney or heart, fails to function, it may be possible to replace it with the cloned body organ. Cloning may one day be an option for producing children. We will be able to produce people with certain qualities, human beings with particular desirable traits, making human being a man-made being. Although there are many positives of cloning, there are still many negatives, however. In addition to low success rates, cloned animals tend to have more compromised immune function and higher rates of infection, tumor growth, and other disorders. Japanese studies have shown that, the, that cloned mice live in poor health and die early. About a third of the cloned calves born alive have died young, and many of them were abnormally large. The following three types of cloning technologies are recombinant DNA technology, or DNA cloning, reproductive cloning, and therapeutic cloning. The term recombinant DNA technology, DNA cloning, molecular cloning, and gene cloning all refer to the same process, the transfer of a DNA fragment of interest from one organism to a self-replicating replicating genetic element, such as a bacterial plasmid. Reproductive cloning is a technology used to generate any animal that has the same nuclear DNA as another currently or previously existing animal. Once the cloned embryo reaches a living stage, it is then transferred to the uterus of a female host where it continues to develop under birth. Reproductive cloning is expensive and highly inefficient. More than 90% of cloning attempts fail to produce viable offspring. Therapeutic cloning, also called embryo cloning, is a production of human embryos for use in research. The goal of this process is not to create cloned human beings, but rather to harvest stem cells that can be used to study human development and to treat disease. Stem cells are important to biomedical researchers because they can be used to generate virtually any type of specialized cell in the human body. Many researchers hope that one day stem cells can be used to serve as replacement cells to treat heart disease, Alzheimer's, cancer, and other diseases. Recombinant DNA technology is important for learning about other related technologies such as gene therapy, genetic engineering of organisms, and sequencing genomes. Gene therapy can be used to treat certain genetic conditions by introducing virus vectors that carry corrected copies of faulty genes into the cells of a host organism. Reproductive cloning also could be used to repopulate endangered animals or animals that are difficult to breed. In 2001, the first clone of an endangered wild animal was born, a wild ox called a gar. The young gar, unfortunately, died from an infection 48 hours after its birth. Endangered species that are potential and potential for cloning includes the African bongo, antelope, the Sumatran tiger, and the giant panda. Since Dolly, a sheep that was cloned, researchers have cloned a number of large and small animals including sheep, goats, cows, mice, pigs, cats, rabbits, and a gar. Attempts at cloning certain species such as monkeys, chickens, horses, and dogs have been unsuccessful. Some species may be more resistant to somatic cell nuclear transport than others. The transplant of organisms, organs, and tissues from animals to humans is called xenotransplantation. There are two questions that our scientists are trying to answer. Will clone organs be cost-effective? Will clone techniques really reach the common man? 